Hello guys, MNP3000 here, back with another video. And this video, as you can tell from the title, is a rant on new Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer trailer. So what's a rant without comparing it to other games? So the new sliding feature in Call of Duty Ghost, as you see here, has been implemented in a lot of other games, such as Medal of Honor Warfighter back in 2012 and Far Cry 2 in 2008. So, in Call of Duty Ghosts, they're introducing character customization. We have seen this in the original Black Ops, such as Face Paint, but that's as far as it basically gone, and Camos to Weapons. So, now you can customize sort of the outfit and other things. Where have we seen this before? Oh, Battlefield. You can customize your camos and such in Battlefield. Yeah, weird, huh? Now the quote-unquote new vaulting feature has been implemented into Call of Duty Ghosts. Where have we seen this before? Oh, Battlefield 3. So here's some Battlefield 3 footage, and to me it looks a little smoother in Battlefield 3. I don't know about you guys, but it looks a little bit better. So back on to some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. So as you see here, there's some noob tube going on, and right here you see some sniping. And I just want to point out, this kind of looks like Crisis, this sniping. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing by any means, I think the sniping in Crisis is really good, and I think Infinity War is actually going to do a really good job with sniping, I don't know about quickscoping, but, there, there, do you see that? Squads. Where have we seen squads before? Battlefield. I don't know if you guys see the ongoing trend here, but look at this, destruction. Now, we have, there's been destruction in Battlefield for a really long time, look at this. I don't know about you guys, but I think the destruction in Battlefield looks a lot better. It looks incredible. And Battlefield 4, Destruction 4.0, with the Frostbite 3 engine, is going to destroy what Call of Duty Ghost is putting out. So a few things I want to point out here is, there the, goes the vaulting feature again. I have not seen the this sort of like ongoing level destruction sort of thing they're doing here and I think it kinda is kinda cool and it's gonna change the map a little bit such as we have heard from Freefall. A couple things I want to point out here though well so this Call of Duty Ghost gameplay goes it's basically the typical gameplay you'll see every year from a Call of Duty game them just trying to blow some shit up is this is on next generation console this is being played on the Xbox One so think about this I know the Battlefield footage from before, the last Battlefield footage you saw was actually from the beta, but the Battlefield 4 footage I'm going to be showing you in a minute is from Alpha. So just think about what this is going to look like on current generation of consoles. It's going to look terrible. It's probably going to look like Black Ops 2, which I'm not saying Black Ops 2 is the worst looking game, but for the end of this, end of this generation, it looks pretty damn bad. Now something I actually have to give them props for is the music in here. And right here you'll see the new knifing feature. I don't know if it's just like the panic knife, just a different animation, or what is going on. But going to Battlefield 4 E3 Alpha gameplay, keep in mind this was played on a high-end PC, but Call of Duty Ghost was also on uh, next generation consoles. Now just look at this comparison from Call of Duty Ghosts back over to Battlefield 4. I don't really think I have to give my opinion on that, which one looks better. So guys, that has been my opinion on the new Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer trailer. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to go check out EDS3 Gaming's opinion on this trailer. I will be putting a link to his channel down in the description so you guys can go check out his video. And you guys have an awesome day, and I hope you enjoyed this video.